Hey guys, it's Aaron. Welcome back to your favorite llama ranch. So I was working on something for Beth. Something she asked me to do, but she doesn't know I'm working on it. So it'll be kind of a surprise. I saw a black snake out there yesterday. Uh, and I just saw it before I got up on it. And I want to see if I can get a video of it. Uh, it's not venomous, I'm pretty sure. It's not a copperhead. <laughs> So let me see if I can sneak out there, do a little zooming and get some video of it. That is, I'm pretty sure that's the snake I saw yesterday. It's really hard to keep this steady while zoomed in so far. Let me try to take a couple pictures of it. Yeah, I'm like, a good 75% sure that's not venomous. Either way, I don't want to get bit and I'm not going to tangle with it because that thing probably eats mice and stuff like that. And that's good. So I want to keep it around. So I'm going to back up, let it do its thing. Why don't you go find some lunch? It ran away from me pretty quickly yesterday. This never works right when the background's lit. Anyway, yesterday I was walking out with a wheelbarrow to get some llama manure. And he was in between me and that tree right there. And he uh, slithered into the shade of the tree yesterday. And then he went into the, the llama pasture and I didn't see it until today. So what I'm working on Maybe this will, yeah, this is much better. What I'm working on, uh, we've got a few tomato plants and we need a tomato cage or something. And Google says that tomato cages should be five feet tall and two feet in diameter or two feet to 36 inches. So two to three feet, I guess. So I came out to see how uh, flexible the cattle panel is. I figured I'd just snip it and then make a circle out of it. I've got some other stuff in the shop that I don't think I'll be able to to work with. Um, it's it's only two feet tall and it's like I don't know ten feet long so I might be able to put two of those on top of each other with a t-post or something but I don't know so I need to check this out. Yeah that cattle panel is definitely not pliable enough so we're gonna go in the shop remember all that wood i got out of the llama pen the other day bam there it is it was a pain to get it in here and stack it these things we'll talk about later i got some uh, projects in mind for them but i've got to do some work first so this is like wasp central let me show you this one real quick I found this one yesterday. I'm going to have to nip that one in the bud. Okay, so this stuff. That looks like about maybe a foot and a half, maybe two feet. I think I could just stack two of these up and they'll probably work. So I'm going to get them together and then we'll see if my plan works. So this is about what I was going for, if you can see it very well. I was gonna put a T-post in and then tie these ends together. Probably not too easy to see. My initial thought was to, um, I was gonna put a T-post on each end and then just run a panel all the way across but I don't know if the tomatoes will grow up that or not. You can do them on a, like a trellis type thing, I think. I don't know, so I think I'll just do this uh, with, the, uh, with the circular cylindrical kind of thing. And then when I need to put another one on top, I will. I think my T-post will come up about four or four and a half feet. Oh, one more thing, check this out. 
I think it's raspberries. That one's a blackberry though, so maybe we have both. I hope that's I hope that's in there. I, I can hardly see the screen. That has to man, maybe one of these is a blackberry and the other is a raspberry. Oh, I hope it's all blackberries. Alright, so I found a cattle panel. Well, I have a bunch of cattle panels. It is 16 feet long. The garden bed is 10 feet long and I don't have dikes that will cut through that gauge metal. I do have an angle grinder though. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to put some T-posts on the end of the garden bed and then um, we'll just kind of wire it up. Uh, most people don't have a cattle panel lying around. If you do, good for you. If not, you can get this um, four inch concrete mesh that will probably work better than this because I think you could probably snip it with some snips and it's a lot more uh, it's a lot more pliable you can bend it around this stuff you can bend it but it's a hard bend it won't like make a circle so I gotta put on some safety gear um, just eye protection obviously you don't want to be wearing flip-flops uh, probably gloves wouldn't be a bad idea, maybe even long sleeves, but I'm already in the middle of this, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna improvise. She caught me red-handed. She just got home with the foster kittens. So, um, I had intended to record a bunch of cool grinding and stuff. Um, but this camera didn't record it so I now have a 10 foot long piece of cattle panel and a six foot long piece of cattle panel <laughs> so I'm gonna go put some t-posts in the ground and then should be pretty easy after that I've got a supervisor if you can see her over there I'm gonna put a piece real loosely on both sides at the top so I could start from the bottom um, just so it doesn't fall over while I'm working. This is just a 17 gauge cable. I just use it for patching stuff. It's aluminum. I think it's actually supposed to be electric fence wire, but <laughs> it works for a lot of stuff. So there's really no trick to this. It's just getting it around a few times so that it holds the thing in place. I probably should have made more of an X. I'll probably redo that one, but um, there's no special, special way to do it. I just run it around, twist, run it around, twist, and just do that. And then I try to make sure there aren't any um, sharp ends sticking out that you like cut yourself on or rip your jeans or something. All right, guys, it's done. Check it out. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. The price was right. All it cost me was my time, but I never get paid for that anyway. So one thing I didn't notice until after I had tied the thing up, it was bent outward away from the tomatoes. 
and I flipped it around so it now bends inward toward the tomatoes. So that was really the only thing I overlooked. I want to say without that mistake it probably would have taken me between rounding up all the materials come on sunlight between gathering up all the materials and actually doing it it took 45 minutes or less I probably would have done this after dinner but I was trying to surprise Beth because it's very rare that I'm home and she's not she had to pick up the little baby foster cats from getting the spade and neuter today. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And I, I think she'll be happy with it. So I'm gonna call that a mission accomplished, job well done, etc. Sorry to keep spinning you around. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave us some comments. We'll see you in the next one.